In this quick tip, we're going to learn about the multi-line input element, which is similar to the input element, but enables your users to type text on several lines instead of just one. This is the element you would use if you had your users submitting descriptions, messages, or anything that is longer text. To do this, we draw the multi-line input onto the page and check out its property editor. First, we can define a placeholder to display text when the input is empty, as well as an initial content. The initial content is specifically for when your multi-line input is already expecting data. For example, if a user wanted to change their about text, we may show the current user's about text here as initial content so they know what they're editing. When we preview this, we can see the element already has the initial content that contains our current user's about text. We can continue to add to this or delete it and see our placeholder text. We can also limit the number of characters that a user can type into this element or have the element resize if the text becomes too long to fit. Checking this will assure it adjusts automatically. Experiment more by adding your own multi-line input to your app. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io slash academy.